Welcome back to another video. It's Saturday morning. We had a lovely Friday off yesterday, which was so nice. Went for a little Easter lunch, got the train up to St Albans. It was so lovely. So today I've got quite a quiet one. Matt's going to football today. I thought that I would go and get my nails done. I'm potentially going to do a spin class, but I've got until like one o'clock to do it. And there's lots of spaces in all of the classes. So I'm not 100% sure whether I've got the energy to go or not. I probably should go. And it's also beside the nail bar that I really want to get my nails done at today. And then I thought I could also make something from one of my Ottolenghi cookbooks. I've got these amazing cookbooks. Like I've got this Nopi one, which is just gorgeous. Let me just show you some of the pages. Like it's actually stunning. Some of the dishes look a little bit more advanced than others. Like I will not be making this watermelon soup anytime soon, but they have some like really amazing meals. Paprika oven chips, oh my god, they look so good. I'll show you my cookbooks actually quickly. I've also got this Ottolenghi simple one, which I love. Oh, and I've got um, Carla's from the old Bon Appetit gang. Hang on, are these all gonna fall, maybe? This one my brother got me for one of my birthdays or Christmases. Look, she's a sandwich gal, just like me. There's loads of nice recipes. That sounds really good actually, gingery beef mince with lime and herbs. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is make myself coffee, make my morning croissant, and I think I'm gonna have a flick through some of my cookbooks and plan some nice meals that I'm gonna make. Also very quick one, my tulips that my mum got me, God, this windowsill is like killing me, have like properly stood up and like bloomed. So obviously, I don't know, I feel like they might have been defrosted or something when I first got them because they were all like limp. And then you just put them in water and they like sprout up. They look so gorgeous. I'm really happy with them. I might actually put them over here. Oh my God, obsessed. I'm so gutted. I had literally like the tiniest bit of coffee left and I made a coffee with it. And it's turned into like a milky, it's like a baby Chino or something. You know, one of those things that they give kids who obviously don't drink coffee. It's like a big cup of frothy milk. So I've done a really silly thing and I've ordered coffee on Gorillas. You know, one of these apps where they actually deliver your door in 10 minutes. It says it's going to be about 15 to 20 minutes at the minute, but I think I can live with that. Here. So I ordered on Gorillas, but it actually came in this get Getier, Getil, Getier bag. Let me show you what I got. I just got some like usual bits we need to make it up to the amount I had to spend. Cravendale milk. This milk's actually really good. It lasts a really long time in the fridge. Some bananas because Matt loves a banana and I thought he could have one before he goes to football. The all-important coffee. I just thought I'd try this new Caravan Coffee Roasters. It had the like great taste logo on it and I thought that'd be good to try. Cherry tomatoes on the vine, my favourite. I just love roasting them on top of my famous tart that I make, especially on the vine. And then I also picked up some eggs because my mum has been telling me about this little egg bite recipe that she's been making where she like mixes up some egg. She does egg whites, but I would definitely include the yolk as well. And then you kind of put cheese and like vegetables, some onions, stuff like that, and then just bake them in the oven and then they last in the fridge for a while. I thought I would try and make some of those at some point as well. But anyway, here we have the main ingredient. I'm going to make a proper coffee now. We have a huge bumblebee that's just flown in on our flowers and it looks really cute. He's having some pollen. We've actually opened the patio doors because it's quite warm today. And this is our gorgeous garden. Can't wait for summer. It's going to be so nice. I'm all ready for spin. I'm about to rush out the door. I've picked my recipe that I'm going to do. So I'm going to make gingery minced beef with lime and herbs. And I've been watching Alana's video from LA. But I'm also going to make it with this Ottolenghi grilled hispy cabbage. I have my little list here of things that I need to pick up. And I'm just about to switch my glasses for sunnies because it turned into the nicest sunny day. And I've got my little stripey bag here to put all the ingredients in. Are we ready to go?
I'm just back home. I went to spin. It was actually such a good class. I was a little bit tired before. I wasn't feeling 100%, but when I got in there and get, got started, I was feeling really good. It was actually Miley Cyrus and Dua Lipa kind of, it was like Miley versus Dua, whatever that means. <laughs> um, but it was really good. It was not really my kind of music, but it was fun. And then after that, I went to get my nails done. I don't know if you can see these, but... I love this little place I go to. It's called USA Nails and it's in Clapham in London, which is kind of random, but it's really good. The people are amazing. Like they just do such a good job. And I really like that like clean, not too thick white French tip. I was actually going to go for red and I always, well, I always used to get the red tips and I love it, but I chickened out at the last minute. I also got a pedicure, but I'm not going to show you my feet for free. I then went to M&S and I picked up all the bits that I need for dinner tonight, which I'll show you later when I'm cooking. Um, they didn't have any of the hispy cabbage, so I actually got pak choy or bok choy. I don't know what the difference is. And I'm just going to kind of substitute the cabbage for bok choy, but still do like the coriander, garlic, chili and all those bits. Um, but what I wanted to quickly show you was that I picked up this delicious oh it's a bit dark in here i picked up this delicious looking chicken caesar baguette for i think i'm only gonna have half because i actually had a protein shake after a berry one it was really yummy it was really like thick and filling but i'm gonna have half of this now i think maybe with some crisps and i'm gonna sit and watch some tv it's turned out to be the nicest day and i actually had a bit of fomo when i was coming out of spin because there was loads of people across the road like having drinks in a pub and like standing on like the corner in the sun with with like a pint of beer and it looked so nice and summery but also I'm quite happy to be home and I'm so looking forward to cooking this nice meal tonight I feel like it's going to be really delicious so yeah um that's been my Saturday bank holiday so far and I'm gonna watch I feel like there's loads of good things on Netflix at the minute there's a few murder documentaries and bits like that that I think could be quite good Matt and I actually watched Impossible last night you know the movie about the tsunami that happened on like I think it was like Christmas Day or Boxing Day or something in Thailand. And like, so this was a debate me and Matt kept having because they told us at the start of the movie which year it happened. And I thought it was 2014 because I feel like I remember it in my lifetime. I'm obviously 30, so I was alive during both of these periods. But he thinks it was, it happened in 2004. And we can't quite tell from the film and we didn't want to rewind. Maybe I'll just Google that actually just to settle an argument, but... Anyway, it's a movie about that. It's got Ewan McGregor and it's got a really young baby Tom Holland in it as well, which is, I thought I heard something, which is um, interesting to see. He's literally like seven or eight in it, but it's a really, really good movie. Very emotional. I was crying, horrible injuries and stuff, but it's a really good film. So I would highly recommend, but only if you're prepared for a cry. I'm going to settle down, eat my baguette and crisps and watch a little bit of TV, I think. I'm just about to tuck into my lunch, but I just wanted to quickly tell you what I'm going to watch. It's called The Other Shore. It's basically about this woman who's swimming in open water from Cuba to Florida. And the opening thing says, 103 miles of vast, dangerous open ocean surge between Cuba and Florida. It is home to sharks, lethal jellyfish and brutal currents. And this woman's doing it without any sort of shark cage, so... Let's see. I feel like it's going to be a really entertaining documentary. Open water is just like my idea of hell. Also, I wanted to mention that I picked up some batteries in Tiger today. The right ones that I need to change so that the clock works. So we're going to do a little switcheroo of batteries later, which is going to be very exciting. We're going to have the clock working again. It's no longer going to be quarter to 11 for the next three weeks. And then I also picked up these, I mean, I know Tiger's not great because it's like a lot of plastic things and it's super cheap and God knows where it's made. And yeah, it's obviously like not a great shop, I don't think. Um, but I saw this little glasses thing and I thought it was so cute. My mum has like a brown tortoise shell sort of one and it looks so good. And I thought I could really do with one because I had my sunnies on earlier and they kept falling off my head and falling onto the floor. And I thought, God, these are going to get scratched. Look how colourful and nice this is. I'm chuffed with that. It was three quid. I'm going to go and watch this now. I'll give you a full rundown of what I think of it after. In one hour and 37 minutes. That's how long I'm going to sit here and chill for. Because I need it and it's bank holiday weekend. Okay, bye. I've had a shower. I finished watching that documentary. It was actually really good. It was quite emotional. It wasn't like super exciting the whole way through. But it was more just like hearing this woman's story that was really sad. And 
yeah, it was good. Um, I've been doing a little bit of editing of a vlog that's going up tomorrow. And I've also been prepping dinner. So I've got, I'm doing the ginger beef thing recipe from earlier. And basically it says get all the ingredients ready before you have to start cooking. So I've got six cloves of garlic. This is the only recipe I've ever read where I thought, yeah, that's enough garlic. Like most of them I add about five cloves more. So six cloves of garlic, two shallots, a bunch of fresh ginger cut up. I'm about to zest this lime into this bowl and then I mix it together and then I'm gonna see what their next steps are. But basically that's where I am. I've managed to get two bowls out so far and yeah, I'm gonna keep cooking now. This is my little mixture. So I basically now cook the mints, the beef mints, until it's like golden brown, then add the garlic, add the ginger. And then I think just add this. This is a really, this is a really easy recipe actually. I feel like it's gonna be a winner. The beef is all browned, the pak choy's in, the rice is doing well, chopped coriander, and now I'm gonna just put this in and stir it. The meal is ready, let me just quickly show you. It's not very appealing in terms of the light in here. It smells really know. good. Matt thinks it smells <laughs> really good. Chili crisp we picked up from an Asian supermarket the other day. Crispy and chili everyone, oil. Everyone seems to like talk about it, so it's gonna be good. We've got a lot of chili in yours. Yeah, it's gonna be Do spicy. you wanna do a quick taste test and let me know what you think? Mm. Is it good? Yeah, it's flavour sensation. Oh. And I haven't even got into the chili, so. Okay, here we go. Mm, all right, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna be filming our day tomorrow when we go to the British Museum and have a lovely little London date day. So make sure you tune in for that on Wednesday, I think. Bye. Oh, hope you all have a lovely bank holiday weekend.